Guys, welcome back to Fort Mort. It is an amazing day in the history of GAC. I am super, super bottom fluffing excited right now. I have struggled, <laughs> struggled to stay on top. And I just, I think my life just got a little bit easier and I'm super excited. We've got a lot to talk about with the changes on GAC. Holy shit biscuit, am I pumped. Sorry, YouTube, shit is a word that's gonna get used over and over because I'm super excited. Let me pull up. Uh, what happens? With me, I've got the wolf below me. Wolf below me. Evening. Evening. Ram for once on top. He's sitting up there. You know Ram Bam. Uh, Ram Bam's got a YouTube channel, which will be posted. He's going to put this video on his channel as well. Uh, so, Ram Bam, if you want to give a quick intro to your guys. Uh, hi. Hi. Yes. So, me and Ram are sharing this video. We're going to put <laughs> it out. You all fucking know me, goddamn. <laughs> Welcome, Lightning Squadron. Yes, sir. He's got an awesome shirt on. He's got the battalion. I've got that get that shit out of here shirt. Oh, I got the battalion on too. Hey, yes, he's got the battalion oh, hiding worry. under the chain the mail. Battalion. Oh yeah, you can see it. <laughs> yes, Shining I know. Through. I know, Ram should be on the bottom. We had to switch it up <laughs> for once. So anyway, we're gonna talk about the new changes, guys. So today they got a huge forum post that came out, um, kind of sharing the screen, so it's gonna be a little bit uh, squished up. But let's go over real quick uh, to address the diverse range of GPs at all the highest levels. We've been screaming about split the divisions. This I did not see coming. I thought they were gonna have more divisions because that's what everybody was talking about. But instead, they kept the same amount of divisions and just moved them out. So your 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 high account, where's it at? So your division one's now going to be 7.8 million plus. Division two is going to be 6.6 .6 million plus. Basically, I'm at 5.3. I'm moving from division two to division four. Now, there's a couple of things for me. The rewards are going to be affected. Instead of getting division two rewards, I'm now going to get division four. But that's okay. Aren't you in division one? I'm sorry, I was in division one. one. I'm sorry, yeah. I was in one. I moved from I one to four. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I moved Starting from one off to four. strong. Starting off strong. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah. yeah, I got too many goddamn accounts, all right? All of us are in division one, but Ram Bam, I think, where are you moving to? Division two? I'm going down to division two, yeah, 7.4 mil. Wolf, I'll division be four. Right, I'll be right smack in the middle of div three over there. Now I'm sitting at uh, six point, uh, uh, six point two five right now. God, what have you been playing? The Kraken roll? Man, I just got slacker. What do you want from me? Holy shit, biscuit! All right, <laughs> so still eleven divisions, going to be split it up all the way out. Um, most of the scoring is going to stay the same, but the real clutch one here, and me and Ram had to talk about this. Division one is going to add four total squads, which means, which means four on offense and four more on defense. So you just went from seven on O, seven on D to eleven on O. And 11 on D. You have got to have a deep bench. So all you top, 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 massive crack and just staying super focused at the top and have nothing at the bottom, you're going to be putting absolute trash in the back. Well, or somewhere. Let's, let's be real here. Somebody at that high of a, uh, of a GP, they don't have much in the way of trash. You know, you'll see like three characters that are not at relic levels. And that's about, uh, about it. You know, somebody who's got uh, all of these teams left over at the end of their five battles and they're sitting there like all right well i still got you know another 30 teams that i can uh, that i can field you know they uh, they uh i think this is going to be a very good move for uh, for them well what or even like what even about like division me, four so, ram uh what do you mean division four we just talked about division four no i'm talking about division four though so they're getting three extra squads so they've got what ten division two two division, division two four, through four. yeah yeah so division so two through us. four is gonna get gonna get three additional squads on defense, which means three additional squads on offense. Um, and so, like for me personally, I'll be in division two. I know for every time that I've gotten a full clear one shot, I've had at least two to three teams of solid relic characters just sitting on standby that I can't use on defense because oh, yeah. I'm already full, and I can't use on offense because I've already one shot everything. So this now makes me have to build up characters that were originally gear 11 gear 12 to make six teams and that's five characters that's not oh, even yeah. including 3v3 that's 5v5 so let me so, well, what i'm saying though is that's that's 30. That's for, for division three, four three, ram that's hold what, on 30 ram hold on first for division four i believe it was 10 squads and uh sorry six squads and 5v5 if i'm not mistaken so now they're going from six and six right. huh it was five before division four Who's in no, Division was, 4? Oh, oh, oh old, old Division 4. Old Division, old division 4. 4. Old Division so 4, no idea. So it's now going from 6 on each, because I think it was 2-2-2, two, 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 and now it's going to 9 on each, 
which equates to 90 total characters in Division mm-hmm. 4. That's, mm-hmm. I mean, what's your Division 4? Your old Division 4 is 3.1 max, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't want I don't remember what old division. It's somewhere was. around three, three point one million. So that depth at ninety characters, that that's really going to affect Division Two. How so deep they're going to go? Here's something you're missing, Mort. I think this is something that needs to be clearly pointed out. After the first and second divisions, last sentence of the first paragraph. After the first and second divisions, players will be evenly divided among divisions three through eleven. So just because you qualify for Division Three, based on that reading doesn't mean that you will be in division three there's a good chance you could be in division four you could be in division six they they're gonna spread it out based on how many people qualify for gac as a total they're gonna spread it out and so that way there's not division 11 only has three players and division two or three has nine hundred thousand players they're gonna split it up but you're still gonna be split up by GP. You're going to be split up by GP, but that potentially means that your higher GP goes into a lower division if it, if it needs to be equalized. And according to this, it says the following are the new minimum galactic, well, it says minimum galactic power requirements for each GAC division. So, minimum galactic power requirements to be qualified for that division doesn't mean that you will be in that division. That's true. Again, Meaning, you have you're to be, close, you may I get downgraded. I hate the way they do the They will be yeah. evenly divided. Yeah. So you may if get downgraded a bit. If yeah. there's 999 players in, in Division 3 and they need 998 to make it equal, one person is going to go down to Division 4. That one person could be you, even though you qualify for Division 3. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the, the key word there being the new minimum, not right. requirement. It's minimum. I yep. missed that part. Exactly. And as uh, you know, Blanky was saying in uh, in chat over here, I think the uh, the biggest thing that's going to end up getting stretched is uh, is the mods. Um, oh. You are going to be able to have to have mods on all of these characters. You know, yep. th- four additional teams, three additional teams for uh, for all of us. You know, hey, I've got three additional squads sitting around, but how good are their mods really? I mean, how yep. good are the mods on uh, on all of my Jedi Master Luke requirements? Yep. Do I really have great mods on my first order TIE pilots? Uh, maybe not so much. So like, mods are gonna become that much more important than having the depth in the mods to be able to have yep. everybody actually useful. Fred- <laughs> Fred- Fredo's in the chat right now. Space. Fredo's in the chat saying right now he hates this. Now he cracked, he, he wailed. <laughs> On a one-year-old account, doesn't have his Zetas already. Did a good job with his mods, but he he went laser focused and wrote the shit out of everything. He doesn't have a bottom end. And then, as good as he's done with his mods, like this is a huge advantage for me. A lot of guys I'll play, we have the same top eighty in speed, but they have nothing below their top eighty in speed. And I've got shitloads of mods mm-hmm. with speed down to my one hundred twentieth character. So this is a huge one for me. I'm really enjoying it. From my standpoint, but oh god. Uh, two more, two more things I want to I want to note here. So the first two uh, uh, bullets that are right here under the notes, rewards remain unchanged. What that means, based on the wording, based on the wording of this, until they clarify anything, if they need to, what yeah. that means is me, for instance, prime prime example, me, or more even, going from division one, where the rewards were division one. Yep. We go down to he goes down to four. He's going to get Division 4 rewards, whatever those were, which is a downgrade from Division 1. I'm going to get Division 2 rewards. Yep. I'm going to not be qualified for Division 1. So the people, I know I know a guy who just hit top 3 Kyber Division in Division 1 who does not qualify for Division 1 now. So all those great rewards that he just got for Division 1 Kyber, yep. he's not going to get now. He's going to get, I think, Division 3 based on his GP. Yep. So insane, right, for the rewards. Second thing I want to talk about, ships. Notice how they say here right now that the top divisions require more character squads. Ships will remain unchanged. Based on that wording, what that means to me, until they clarify, and there's some confusion, I think, but until they clarify it, Division 1 and Division 2 were the original announcement back in in September that they announced this. They said that Division 1 and Division 2 would have two ships in in that zone, Vice 1. And those that, those were wording, those are three point eight million at this point going into the change. So, so go ahead. if yep. that Before if that wording three point eight mil. Yep. No, if that <laughs> wording says right there, it says ships will remain unchanged. 
that post now becomes a reference point. That means yes. Division One and Division Two are still the two the two ship brackets, not the GP get. Which that means Division that... Three through Division I think six used to have two ships. Now you're only going to need one again. That is something that absolutely needs clarifying over there because absolutely. that is a huge, huge difference, huge, huge problem difference. too. Yep. How yep. many GACs have been Mort, won and lost? I know more hates that. I hate Mort everybody. That. This is the one thing I hate about it. So I'm okay if they keep if the 3.8 million threshold. Which here's the thing: they put 3.8 million at. Where's that sheet I had at? Um, hold on, it's right here. I'm gonna pull this up for you guys. This was somebody putting it together. So at 3.85 million, they would still have two ships for division six, five, four, three, two, and one, which makes sense to me for two reasons. People have gone and went and got slacker just because you know what? Hell with it. I'm going to go get slacker because I need an extra ship anyway. So I may as well get the finalizer. Now all those people that farmed all them ships are going to be pissed off. And I know for me, I shipped harder to get to this point so that I can dominate GAC by having better ships for everybody else. If they stick at one and two, I am going to, this is going to be the only change that I tremendously dislike. Everything else, I'm a fan of. Sorry, go ahead, Ram. No, no, that you, yep. You, me, it doesn't affect me. I'm in Division 2 either way, so I'm, I'm dealing with two ships regardless. I've got the <laughs> roster for it. But the people, especially the people who are like Mort, that farmed ships, they shipped harder when they knew that they were going to division two and division one they shipped harder they farmed specifically for ships and they know that people cannot clear their ships because of they they put two on defense and then they have to use two on offense they know people can't clear them this is going to hurt them tremendously because now people don't have to put two ships on defense if they're in division three or below based on the wording that's currently out again it needs clarification i think from cg definitely needs clarification because i'll be on the uh, on the edge I, I was in div one and i was setting to uh two fleets i was uh rebels empire uh negotiator malevolence and that was the you know the core of uh the core of that over uh, mm -hmm. over there um but i'm six six and a quarter million so i'm dropping down to div three over here so if i don't have to place two uh two fleets anymore man i'm that may be the decider on my next relic eight if i know that i'm going to be using kenobi on offense and there's a chance i'm going to be facing other relic eight kenobis i'm relegating my general kenobi yeah that's a big huge, big huge deciding factor, deciding for me. factor yep you know depending on how that you goes. want that stop you want yeah. that stop so uh, yeah kenobi at relic eight right now is freaking huge if that's the case and I, this is this is also this also hurts people uh, you think about it. How many people are, are out there relicking their Bisson and their and their uh, their Scarecrow Pathfinder me. for for the Akbar team for, <laughs> for Bisson's <laughs> viewing, right? Yeah. That ship makes that makes that uh make it that ship makes the uh, the the MILF team a lot more difficult oh, to get amazing. through. Yeah. But if you only had to put one fleet on defense, now you, what chances are you gonna, that you're actually going to use MILF when Negotiator and Malevolence can clear literally any fleet out there? Oh yeah. I, I, um, while my rebels can clear malevolence and negotiators, it's not nearly as consistent. So they're going to be relegated to cleanup, and mm -hmm. that's going to be it. I want to point yeah. out something too. So this excites me as well. Division one at seven point eight million, fifty five uh, on offense, fifty five on defense. So there are currently over two hundred characters in this game right now, and you're looking at a hundred and ten of them being used in Division one. You're looking at a hundred being used in Division two. That's just not kind of cleanup. Just to set offense and defense. So Division Two, half your roster, half your roster at 6.6 .6 million has to be modded, has to be ready to go. You drop down to even yep. Division Six, you're looking at what is that? 60? Yeah, 60 total. So, I mean, that's not horrible at that point, but that's still a third of your roster at 3.9 million when you enter that division. A third mm -hmm. of your roster has to be ready to go. Mm -hmm. And if they bring in, I, I'm praying that that is the cutoff for two ships. I really am. Uh, I hope so. God, I'm just, I'm, oh, it's, it's, I want to know now. Um, yeah. This also changes the the requirements for what people need to be able to hit Kyber every season. So previously, if you if you yep. scroll up in the post, previously, Division 1 in 3v3 only needed 46,100 46, points. Same division now requires 53,200 right so yes you have more teams down and so you're gonna you're gonna get those points a little bit easier but it's it's a higher wicket to hit so it could narrow the people who just barely hit kyber this time 
it could potentially mean that they're not going to hit Kyber next time. Um, same thing with 5v5. 5v5 for Division 1 went from 376, uh, uh, 37,600 over to 44,900. Um, so huge, huge differences there uh, for people who, you know, just barely made the cutoff. Dart Link said this is so dumb, but I'm telling you, I love every bit of it. I, it it's, 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 it's becoming the equalizer. The, those guys that set those cop block defenses, were, you're going to see more and more of it where people are going to try to top, block top and bottom in the lower divisions So that, because they have no bench. They have no choice but to play defense. People oh, yeah. are going to start to move away from the offensive strategy, which is kind of a bad thing for me. But, but at the same time, because I'm a balanced roster, I'm enjoying the fact that my deep-ass bench and my bottom fluff, as you guys like to call it, is now viable. And this is, it's going to be rough. If the people at the top who've got all their high-end relics and nothing at the bottom better have mods that go into their fluff that they have left. If they if they invest it all the way at the top, the only way they can win is to is the cock block. And this is, we went from the age of full clears to the age of, uh, you better find a way to win because you're not going to full clear every round. Yep. No, and, and so like with me, this this hurts me personally from what I can understand on this. This hurts me personally. The reason why is because you guys know, at least the people who've been following me for a while, they know I have not modded harder. I lost, uh, I, I didn't mod for probably about a year or so. I just didn't even know what mods were. I didn't know how to do it. So I just farmed mats all day or I farmed garbage mods. I, I just did my, my mod dailies essentially. And I did the mod events. I didn't mod harder. I didn't farm the proper mods. And so I've put together the teams, the good mods for the teams that I can use in GAC constantly. Problem is, is the other characters have been slacking. They don't have the proper mods that they that they need to be competitive in GAC because I don't have that. that Slash problem. wants to know, he said, because you have a Relic 8 mace. Get the shit out of here. <laughs> um, so I, I don't have the, the, the extra mods to be able to compete with people that are pro I'm probably going to encounter in Division 2. I'm about to get my fourth GL. I'm going to encounter some crazy people in Division 2. Oh, yeah. that are going to have way better. I'm already outmodded every single time I go up against someone in GAC. This is just going to further increase that gap from me to them, which that hurts me. But overall, I still like the changes a lot more. This is something I've been asking for a while. I've been asking for, for these brackets to change because <clears throat> as of now, from, from what I can see based on, and if correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I can see, there's only one division where you potentially, potentially have the chance to go up against someone with 1 million more GP than you, and that's Division 2. Yeah. You can potentially be at 6.6 .6 mil, yeah. 6.7 mil, and go up against someone who's 7.7 .7 mil. The rest of the divisions are are split up well enough to where there's not that much of a gap, and so you won't get these crazy matchups of this guy has a solid top 80, but he's 1 million GP over you, except for Division 2. It's still, here's, there's two things, guys, that are on the board. This map that I'm showing right now, this spreadsheet, this is speculation, I wanna be clear. Whether they're going to put Division 1 and 2 as the wording was six months ago, or if they're going to move it to the 3.8 million factor where they're going to have ships. We do not know. Okay? We do no. not know. Uh, the other thing... I'm reading it purely based on how they worded the worded the uh, the post. That's yes, all I'm I, reading I still of. believe it's going to be Division 1 and 2, and I hate every bit of that. Um, there's a lot of other speculation in this, too, that we don't know. I just had it in my head, and I forgot what it was. Damn it. Um... Shit. All right, we'll move on. I can't remember what it was. There's another part of the speculation as well. You can cut it out of the video. Addition of above changes. <laughs> no, nah, we're doing it live. Yep. In addition, <laughs> let, let me read on to the rest of this. In addition to the above changes, the amount of required points scored to, to promote between divisions and leagues will be different from some divisions and leagues. For the lower divisions of bronze and leagues, the amount of points required will, will de decrease to assist newer, lower GP players. So they made some small adjustments. I don't think they're going to affect it too much. But it, originally in Division 1, I had to get 44,000. Well, that's 3v3. 5v5v5. 5, 5, 44,900. Now I'm in Division 4 and only need to get 38,000. I know that changed too, didn't it? Oh, they bumped it up. So we used to have yeah, to get... I don't know why they wouldn't post a chart blanket. That's a very good fucking question. 37... They just said, yeah... Sorry, 37,600 was Division 1 before. Now I'm in Division 4. I've got to get 38,000. So I actually have to get 
400 more banners to get Kyber, and it's going to be higher, harder to get Kyber. So this and this my rewards also, are worse. This also potentially means, right? And correct me again if I'm wrong, Mort. This means that the people who like you who don't feet harder they rely on their defenses to hold to get the wins yeah you might need to start going after feats a little bit more it's a possibility but as long as i'm still winning i don't need them i mean i'm i'm finishing kyber 10 and 0 with no but if issue you're not getting full no clears if you're not I never getting get full, full clears, clears i never have i never have but with these point changes you might have to They're, they only change 400 for me though that's what i'm saying so division one has changed significantly. They've gone from 37,600 to 449. Mm -hmm. I don't understand right. that at all. Oh no, that's what, I'm that's, sorry. That's because, that's they because have you eight got more teams. teams. You got eight more teams. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they've oh, added a lot of teams. They've added a lot of teams. Actually, it's become easier because they added three to my division. So six total. So I've got six more per round and I only got to make 400 more points. That's okay. insane. So I, that's even less feats I got to do. Let me dance. Hold on. I need something to dance to. <laughs> and on the other hand, if your uh, your opponent's roster is going to be stressed a little bit more like your own, maybe more shit on defense so you can narrow deep beats again. So this is going to change up everything. I mean, don't forget, this isn't just changing it for you. This is changing it for your opponent too. So everyone is going to be in the dealing with the same shit, mm -hmm. changing their strategies. You know, not doing stuff they did before, mixing things up, seeing how the hell this works. You know what's the best way to get Kyber now? This is gonna, this is gonna change it up for all, everybody, and it's it's gonna be very interesting to see how the uh, how the community does with it in the first couple of uh, seasons. Brainstar, it's keep in mind if you put three more on defense, that means you need three more on offense. That's six total, bro. You can't just put three on defense because now you need three more on offense, and now you need six more teams total. Yeah. That's what a lot of people are missing about this. That's a yep, huge. Because they're bump. saying they're saying that's again, the wording on this post is not the greatest. They are no. saying add four total squads. What they should have said for Division One, and and same thing with the rest of the divisions. What they should have said was add four total squads to defense requirements or defensive setup, right? Because what that would have meant is based on that wording. Okay, now I only need four. I need eight squads. I need four people, four defense squads, and I need four offense squads. Based on this, the confusion can be seen. Now again, for for. You know, for the one and three, it's pretty easy. They're not, you're not, you can't split it up. But for two and four total squads, the word total to me means total GAC, right? So that could mean two two squads on defense, two squads on offense. But obviously it doesn't, the math doesn't add up for division two through four and division six based on that wording. So this is only defense, which means your offense increases by that number as well. Yes, Blanky, they should have posted a chart. Mm-hmm. Chart would have been so much fucking easier. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Demonetized. No. <laughs> like I make money on YouTube at 518 followers. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I don't, I don't make money. I'm only sitting at like 300. I don't make money oh on this shit. Oh my God. Get that shit out of here. I can't help myself, man. It's a reflex. <laughs> I'm trying to pull up my game now. It just crashed on me again, the piece of shit. I want to show you guys an example. So according to what I'm reading, I'm going to have to put in Division 4, I'm going to have to put 100 characters on defense or on offensive defense total in GAC minimum I'm gonna have to go a hundred and I'm gonna show you how deep this goes as soon as I get it loaded up you guys keep going I'm sorry I'm trying to get loaded here no no yeah no this this requires uh you know 30 30 additional characters at some points which is just whoo that's a god that's a lot of fluff it's, it's gonna be a steep it's a, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. It's gonna be a steep requirement to uh, you know to get going off the bat. But realistically, a lot of the times when I'm done with the Grand Arena, like you were saying earlier, if I've one shot everything, I'm sometimes I'm sitting there like, all right, well I did a gas solo, so I still got shock clones that I can blow something up with. Um, you know, I did a Malik solo, so I still got DR I can do something with. I uh, there I definitely have a lot left over at the end. Not thirty, I but. No, no. Well, not yeah, not 30 characters, but I can tell you I've had numerous times where I'm like, I've gone at the end of GAC where I've, I've one shot, maybe even two shot a team or so. And I've sat there and I'm like, wow, I have CLS I could have put on defense. I have shot clones right? I could have put on defense. I have, right? I have bounty hunters or first order or resistance or, or uh, you know, another rebel team or something like that that I could have put on defense 
to maybe stop my opponent a little bit further. And here I am not able to use him because I didn't have enough. So for that instance alone, I like this post because I can now use the teams that I've geared up that elsewhere are useless because you can't use them in the raid because they mm -hmm. suck. Let me you can't use them in TB or whatever the case is. Yep. I'm going to say this too. So the more I think about this and the more this is like soaking into me, most people love to go for them banners. They want to chase them banners. Now they're going to be worried about most players are going to be worried about getting that full clear more than ever. What does that mean? More trash on defense, yep. which so plays to my style. Oh, yep. my God. 100%. And like oh, we were saying, my God. may allow you to do some more feats. Oh, I just got <laughs> harder than this morning. Um, oh. and actually, actually, this brings up, a, again, something else that I think CG needs to clarify. Does this affect your top 80? Because now you're not using typically 80 carrots in GSC. Yes. You're using yes. 110. You're using 100 for Division 2. So shouldn't it be your top 100 now or your top 110 yeah. or something instead of just your top 80? Because that's so what those, the original one was. So again, more clarification get is needed. More clarification is needed. So in Division 1, 2, 3, 4, I think, I think Division 6, they started using top 60 or... Somewhere there was a window where they used top 60 and then the rest was top 80. Now you're talking top 100. Does that change or does it stay top 80? Because if it stays top 80, it, 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 that, it's it, it unfair. Needs to it's unfair. The needs to change. And it's going to play even more into my favor. You think I was and hard again, beat before? Holy shit. No, and it, again, it needs here's, to change. And again, yeah, look, yeah, for Division 1 or Division 2, as long as they clarify those numbers, you know, if it's top 100 or something, then, that, then we're good. But for the people... Who are counting on that GP like for more spe yeah, bleh, specifically for more that number he, they might say division three needs or division four needs uh top 85 but division five only needs uh top 76 right now <clears throat> more gets pushed because they're going to evenly divide those those divisions more gets pushed into division five which means now they're only counting his top 76 characters in that instance vice his top 85 which is what he's preparing for so it could throw people off as far as calculating it too based on how they divide they mm -hmm. evenly divide these divisions thank you for the sub there water appreciate it um so i'm looking at mine and, and my 100th character is old ben because you guys know me i'm balanced so at 14 7 my 100th no, character oh dude you gotta look i mean it's gonna make a huge difference at 14 7 yeah it's a huge yeah now my now my rose is definitely in my top 80. Thanks, <laughs> oh, yeah rose Ed. is definitely there. he's definitely in my top 100 now uh it, i was she was gonna be outside had i had i not i just got finished my 24 hour stream you guys know that um i i had i not had her abilities she was gonna be in like like around the top 90s or so uh but she was gonna be outside my top 80 until ed decided to be a master and 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 put his aid on her um, and so now that doesn't even matter because if they're going to raise the top 80 GP to probably a hundred for me, then it, it you know, I'm, I'm screwed either way. <laughs> this is there's again, guys, there's still a lot of clarification it needs huh. to come down. Like somebody just messaged me and said, Hey, can you look at my roster? Because I'm really confused on if this is going to hurt me or help me. So one, we don't know if the ships are going to hurt us or help us. Cause we don't have clarification on how that's going to work. If the ships are only division one and two, it's going to hurt. The majority of people um it, it's gonna help some people for me having good ships i dominated people in division one and two because most people couldn't hang with mine but if, if that drops down to division six i just became an absolute monster an absolute monster um if it's so if it's yeah. if i'm back to only one ship again i am now human again but then it, with the roster changes dropping with putting more um more teams on defense and offense I now have balanced back to being a monster again. But if I get both, yeah, baby, <laughs> I'll be yeah, fucking this, excited. This now, means, this now means that for me specifically, I have 12 relic characters who are not in the top 100 for me. Wow. 12 out of so, my entire roster. Whereas before I had at least 30 or so. We're a little bit bigger than me. I'm, of mm -hmm. course, in the uh, in the middle of you two. So yep. my my hundredth character actually is uh, interestingly enough a gear eleven chief chirpa, um, but he is uh, actually ahead in uh, in GP of Nihilus, Gideon, L three, Sith Empire trooper, Poggle, all of wow. whom I use 
every single time. Wow. Um, so this, all of uh, those are all gear uh, gear twelve uh, people. Um, you know, all of uh, the rest of my Imperial troopers are all below that. So I, I'm. I, I'm I'm very interested to see how this goes. So I, I've got some options over here for top 100. Nev's in chat saying he's coming for me in Division Four. We're back in the same division. He was just talking about this last night. He wants oh. that rivalry again. And now Ram mm -hmm. is forced to use his new relic rose zated, zated rose. Congrats, Ram. Oh, you're definitely using oh. her now. She's not only in the oh, yeah. top 80. She's in your top 100 for oh, a she's while. She's going on defense. She's, she's going, going on, on defense. defense now. Oh yeah. Yep. No, 100 percent. She's going to go on defense. I may put her with Ray or something like that, but she's going to go on defense. I'll have I'll have Ray. Yeah. Uh, by the by the next uh, lock in of, G of GAC. Yeah. So I think this is going to put a lot of pressure on a lot of the players, especially at the higher divisions, um, where they're feeling like they're going to have to one shot everything. So they're going to bring their best and they're going to put trash on defense and just try to get the banners. And I, um, I love it. One thing I'd like to hear from in the in the comments below of this video, one, one thing I'd like to hear from um, is the people who are who are part of this community that are that are whales and krakens, uh, mm -hmm. people like Mall Pills, for instance, mm -hmm. people that have those seven point eight mil accounts, eight mil accounts or so, you know, those kind of people. I want to see how this is gonna, you know, how people who are in that Division One that's gonna require four additional teams on defense, four on offense. <laughs> How this oh, is yeah. going to feel. So for Mole Pills, I think it does one thing at his level. Because what we say, there's only 78 people at that level right now. So he went from having one huge Division One with with more of a pool of people that can high, have that top, high top end like him to a much smaller pool. So now I think he's going to be playing less people than he played before. He's going to see mm -hmm. the same he's people He's going to see the same people and more and more often. Yes. And over yeah. again. Absolutely. Sucks um, for Division One right now. But for everybody else... Amazing. Well, I was I was looking at it. So uh, there's only 87 people currently who are in that nine million bracket alone. Yeah. Right. And the highest goes up to I think 9.4 currently. There's only 87 people. So those people who are in those those crazy amount of GPS, they're only going to each other regardless. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. So they're no, probably absolutely, each absolutely, other. Oh, yeah. absolutely. But that I mean that just goes to show how many players are there that actually play this game. There's only 87 of them that are in that nine mil. So you can only imagine they're, yeah, people in division one are going to encounter Thank each you. other all the time. <laughs> yeah. They're going to see the same ones over and over and over. It's going to be constant cycle over two to three months. If yeah. it even cycles, because it, when you're in division one, you may have that. Obviously if you're at 9 million, you're going to have uh, a higher top end, but some of them are going to have six E's. Some of them aren't. I don't know. I don't know. I would assume they're going to be playing the same people over and over. That one's a little confusing, but as if for me, not my concern. Sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not a whale. <clears throat> but I think for the middle divisions more than anything and the lower divisions, I think this affects us the most, and I think it's great. The only thing that sucks is I still don't have a ship squad tab, and I don't know how many ships I'm going to have in each division, and I need to know <laughs> now. Yep. So yeah. I think I think definitely for sure if we're going to take anything away from this post, I think it's a it's a – overall, it's a good post for the most – for most of the player base. Uh but there is some major, major clarification needed on CG's Absolutely. part on several of these topics that they have brought up. They yeah. kind of, I think they, oh, yeah. I think in their mind, they, they decided, you know what, we're going to, we're going to put out a post and they didn't really, uh, they, they did a CG. They did not think things through completely and people are overanalyzing a lot of it, which as they should. Um, but I think CG needs to come back and clarify a couple of these options in here. Yeah, and I wish I knew when they were going to do that. Well, if you want to add anything before we cut off the actual recording of the video. No, I think we pretty much uh, covered everything. Ram Bam. Uh, no, make sure you guys uh, follow all of, or follow Mort on Twitch, follow Mort on YouTube. Links are going to be down in the video below. And follow Wolf on Twitch. All three of us put out some amazing content for you guys for GAC, Swigo other kinds of stuff. So make sure you follow all three of us. That's right. Get it in there, guys. All right. We are one battalion strong lightning squad. Thanks for joining us as well. We will see you guys next time. We've already ran about probably about 40 minutes on this video. If you guys got any questions, drop below, drop in the discord. Uh, uh, whatever you guys need, we're here for you to try to answer the questions the best we can. I'm super excited for guys that play like me, defensive heavy. This is fun. Amazing. Loving it till next time. We are out. This party's over. Shut up and sit down.